Welcome back. Now, our guests today are Julia Petla and Matladi Motlaung from Amedzo Trading and Projects. Before the break, we were discussing, uh, come on and ask the question around the why. Um, and Elisa was talking about uh, the brand and how the brand structure would work. And now it's time for uh, some reason, because uh, we, this has been particularly dominated by Kumar and I, I want to start with you. Take, take, take as much time as you want. It's not my industry, but um, so. Zomani. Uh, <laughs> you guys have some exposure to it. So um, my uh, branding advice is around what I think is going to be a contributing factor to the slow growth of your business. I think from a strategy perspective in terms of aligning yourself with the partners, great stuff. I really give you props for that and understanding where you need to grow your strengths and exposure to the market. However, I'm concerned that in as much as you've done the research, you've done all of these things that led to the why and where the opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm almost concerned that it was the idea of let's build it and they will come. And that will that they will come is not only going to come from aligning yourself. To, they've got businesses that they're already running, mm -hmm. and in as much as they're mentoring you, it, you are not necessarily their business priority. Yes. So you need to understand that. Yeah. And secondly, I'm concerned that you're not spending enough time. You've got other businesses. You've got other businesses. Um, so unless it's a ten-year strategy or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. It's going to take longer because you're not dedicating enough time to, f as, as a business I in itself, to grow this, be out there, running out there, marketing yourselves, mm. rebranding and so forth, so that you're a standalone. Mm. Because what I've personally experienced from mentorships, yes, they'll advise you and all of that, but they're not necessarily going to bring you business. Mm. And you guys need to find a strategy and a brand that brings you business so that you can then get mentorship from them to say, how do we transact in this business? This is our first uh, deal. How do we transact in it? Not we're waiting for them to give us an opportunity. That's my right. advice. Great. Come on. It is clear to me that you guys are going into this because of an opportunity for the money and all of that and, and that you identified that this would be lucrative. My concern is that they, you haven't really gotten into the real substance of your assumptions and research. And that's perhaps because you don't come from the industry. Now, right. it doesn't mean if you, one doesn't come from an industry, you shouldn't go into mm -hmm. that industry, but it, you start off on the back foot, right? Yes. Um, so that's my concern. Um, you don't have the expertise and you need to close that gap somehow mm. or decide uh, do you still want to be in this business if without that gap how are you going to pay for that learning curve mm. and your role right now as you said is to be earning on commission with this partner which means for now you're a sales organization uh, right and uh, not understanding the trade that's also going to set you that's also going to set you back um, mm. You're going to, what's your reason for competing? If someone's already buying from a particular supplier, mm. are you going to be, it's a commodity, are you mm. going to be competing on price? Or like you said, it's all the fly-by-nights are coming to you to say, okay, there's mm. a new beer, let's uh, mm. yeah. let them give us 30-day terms and, mm. and take them for a, for a ride. Mm. So I would give more consideration to this, that maybe um, get someone else involved that has that streetwise experience mm. I'm, I'm concerned. I have uh, more concerns than answers for you now. Yeah, well, from our point of view, it's uh, uh, similar things. I've got questions, and my mm. questions are, are more for you, Julia. And my concern f for you is around a brand that you've built. And too often um, I see with a diversionary opportunity where there's no um, incumbent experience. In other words, it's not allied to what you're doing but it might be allied to your, your client base. In other mm. words, you're seeing that you can sell this to your client base, or your brand, is it can, can do? And the question you have to ask yourself is, is this an opportunity or is it an opportunity to damage your brand? Because you can confuse your clients as to what you do. Mm. So, so are you in construction, are you in petrol, what are you? Because I want you to build stuff for me, not supply uh, pe petrol products to, to me. So you're, I'm more concerned about what, and I'd, I, this is not a statement as it will, but the question you have to ask yourself 
is, is this going to damage your brand? It's definitely going to damage your focus, but you might have capacity for that. But is it going to damage your brand in terms of your current client base? From your point of view, the, the question as well is that, is that, that you have to ask yourself is that how, how long mm -hmm. do you give yourself mm -hmm. before this is just an experiment to see it? There's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And how much time do you give yourself before you say it's not working? Okay. Whether it's six months or 12 months or 24 months, you have to give yourself a time period and some level of milestone. Mm -hmm. Because you, as you said, you've got other interests mm -hmm. at, uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the same concern for you is what damage is this going to mm -hmm. do? In those other interests that you have as well okay. and then my final comment is around your partnership here is that if you I don't know what your your personal situation is in terms of have you been friends for long do you understand each, each other's values or visions for this if you haven't worked that stuff out I see very often that the issue is not now but as soon as you land that big deal and she lands it and she says but that did nothing to do with you and then, then the issues start. Leverage you on your brand. Yeah. So, so, but it was my brand. It was my this, and that that stuff has to be sorted out right now. Mm -hmm. And that's it from 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 us. Uh, that's it for today on on the our version of the show uh, this week. I'm joined by Professor Khalil Osiris, an author, educator, social entrepreneur, and life coach. And this is followed by a discussion with Shane Mann from Manmade Media about corporate storytelling. From the whole team, it's goodbye till next week. And remember, if you think it, write it down and make it a reality. The courage to grow is business. The Big Small Business Show made possible by MTN Business, a new world of business. And the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, developing responsible business leaders.